Welcome back my fellow radiation nerds. Today we're hunting for some radioactive rocks inside of one of the largest mineral shops in Berlin. Let's see what we can find. I will be using my Fermo Rad IPRD, which is a small portable scintillator based on a sodium iodide crystal, and it is a fantastic meter for detecting low activity gamma sources such as minerals. The first radioactive find of the day is Blue Apatite, which I actually covered in a recent video. To summarize, this mineral contains traces of thorium-242, making it slightly radioactive. My next find is sodalite, and I actually wasn't aware that it could be radioactive, which made it even more exciting. While walking around the alleys, suddenly the alarm on my rad eye got triggered, and after checking a few different rocks, I realized that the radiation wasn't coming from any specific mineral, but from one of the barrels, and after talking to the staff members, it turned out that most likely they contain monazite sand. Monazite is another radioactive mineral which I covered in a previous video, but to put a long story short, it is one of the main sources of rare earth elements, and it also contains thorium, which makes it radioactive. Here is some more blue appetite from Brazil, however this time the pieces are much larger and thus more radioactive. While scanning this area, I noticed that the readings were a little bit elevated, but to my disappointment, it turned out to be more sodalite hiding underneath the table. And here's the same story, just with blue appetite. This mineral did not have any label on it, but it's definitely a little bit radioactive, and I'm really curious to what it is. So if you have any ideas on what this mineral could be, let me know in the comments. Sibir agate is pretty interesting, as it's not a natural mineral, but a slug produced from copper melting. 
Since it's radioactive, my guess is that the ore contained radioactive impurities. And here is another interesting barrel hiding something radioactive. Most likely monazite sand. Flogopite is an interesting mica mineral, which forms very thin layers that peel off pretty easily. And just like with many other minerals that I've found so far, its radioactivity was new to me, and I'm eager to learn more about it. Fossilized shark teeth can contain traces of uranium, and they're definitely worth checking if you ever find them, and those ones certainly do not disappoint. At home I do have a large megalodon tooth that is also radioactive and small teeth like those ones just don't catch my attention anymore, but they are still a nice find. Zircon is the main source of element zirconium, and as it turns out it can also be slightly radioactive. I guess I'll have to do some catching up with my knowledge about radioactive minerals. So to summarize, I was absolutely blown away by how many radioactive rocks I managed to find in a regular mineral shop. While they aren't very radioactive, in fact they are just marginally over background, but they are still very interesting and I can't wait to learn more about them. I will be covering each of these minerals in depth in future videos so make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of the new upcoming content. I wanna hear from you. Have you been to any mineral shops or trade shows and did you manage to find any radioactive rocks? I'm looking forward to your answers in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If yes, please consider giving it a like and subscribing to the channel so you don't miss any of the upcoming videos. Also feel free to check out my Patreon page where you can support the channel financially and get access to exclusive content. And remember, stay active!